Hi, my name is Kathleen Singh, and I'm the owner and creative director of Sunny Kilogram. It's sometimes a good idea to have a calendar on your website, especially if you host a lot of events and update your calendar frequently. If you already use Yahoo Calendar, you can actually embed it directly on your website. Let me show you how to do that right now. Navigate to Yahoo and make sure you're logged in. Once you're logged in, click on the mail icon on the upper right. Once you're in mail, click on the calendar tab. Now you should see your calendar. Mine is right here. And select the right one if you have more than one and navigate to actions here and scroll down to share. Okay, uh, make sure you select share with everyone and hit continue. In this next window, select iCalendar and web address and scroll down a little bit to this link below the web address header. Uh, right click on that and copy. Copy the link address, okay? Um, so, things get a little tricky now because Yahoo actually doesn't provide us with a way to embed this calendar on a website. So we actually need to utilize Google services to actually do this, all right? So, let's log into uh, Google, make sure you're logged in and um, click on calendar here, okay? Or you can uh, alternatively just type google.com slash calendar to get here once you're logged in. And on the left-hand side here, notice the other calendars heading here, okay? And uh, see this little down arrow? Click on that and navigate to add by URL, all right? In this next pop-up right here, just paste in the URL that we copied from Yahoo before, okay? And then make sure you check this make the calendar publicly accessible box and then just click on add calendar. Boom. All right. So uh, Google is telling me that the calendar has been added, but where is it? Well, you need to open up this other calendars list. So just click on the arrow here on the left hand side. And this is my Yahoo calendar. Okay. And um, bear with me here. Just a couple more steps. Um, right click or just click on this down arrow here and go to calendar settings. And here, obviously you can rename the calendar if you want, but the most important piece of information from this page is this embed this calendar section. Okay. This, this code right here, this is actually what we need to embed the calendar in our website. Okay. So just go ahead and do, select all and do a copy, all right? And the next thing that we'll, we'll need to do is to navigate to your web, website's content management system. So if you're using WordPress or Tumblr, you would pull up that service, or you can just use plain HTML. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use um, an HTML file that I already created. So I have this calendar HTML file just going to open it in my editor. I already set it up, so I have some styles here, but that's not important. The most important thing is to go inside your body tag and to paste the embed code that we just copied from Google, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it's in here. And all you need to do now is hit save. And you would do the same thing if you were in your WordPress um, editor. Okay, just paste the code in and uh, save or publish. And now let's go take a look. Okay, so I'm going to open a new tab and find my HTML file, drag it into the browser, and there we go. That's my Yahoo Calendar embedded in my website. I hope you were able to follow along. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me via my website at www.sunnykilogram.com. Until next time, take care.